Okay girls, today I'm going to show you how to create super girly ombre lips using lip scents. I'm going to be using Plum, Fleur de Lisa, and Pink Opal Flash. So I'm going to start out with Plum and I line my lips with this. And it's fine for it to be a thick line because obviously I know this is going to be ombre. Um, some people prefer a thinner line with ombre lips, but I have pretty big lips to work with, so I'm fine with it going to the inside so you can see that clear gradation of color. So then I'm going to do another coat of the plum just to make the color a little bit more intense. And you want to make sure this darker color you're getting in the corner of your lips really good too, um, because that's going to be part of the effect. Um, you want darker colors to look further away, and lighter colors will bring forward and make the, make things look bigger. Darker colors more to define. So I'm switching to Fleur de Lisa right now. So with the Fleur de Lisa, I'm going to be applying just like I would regularly apply lip scents. Three layers, one direction. Went a little bit outside the lines there, but luckily it's fixable. And you can see already with a second layer, it really starts to blend. So typically I would only use Plum and Fleur de Lisa for every day, but several of you have asked me for a more dramatic ombre lip. So I am actually going to finish this with the pink opal flash lip scents. Just kind of watching where the light naturally hits my lips. But typically I would leave it like this with just the Fleur de Lisa. However, you've asked me to take it to the next level, so here is the pink opal flash. So this is really cool because it has an opalescent sheen, but you can see that it is really, really obvious. So I'm just paying attention to where light naturally hits my lips and applying it there just to make it more enhanced. Obviously, you can see this is a little obvious, so to blend it out, I'm going to do one more layer of the Fleur de Lisa. Kind of just make it a little more subtle. So after that, I can go in public wearing this. It's not too obvious anymore. So I'm going to let it dry really good because this has ended up being a lot of layers. And then I'm going to finish with Glossy Gloss. So the great thing about Lip Sense is remember, once it's on, it's on. And it does not transfer, not even to the gloss one. As long as it's dry when you're applying the gloss, you won't get any transfer. So, and I love this gloss because then it's got shea butter in it, it's super moisturizing, so it feels really good and it's not sticky. So here's a close-up look at these, and you can see it doesn't kiss off, it doesn't rub off, and last all day long. Thanks girls, have a great day.